Animal rights activists in Thailand are concerned about an upswing in the number of dogs being illegally shipped out of the country for their meat. They estimate that up to 2,500 are snatched every week. There's been a huge rise in demand for their meat from neighbouring countries and that's created an upsurge in dog napping affecting thousands of pets and their owners. And a warning, there are images of animal cruelty in this Channel 4 investigation. It's been quieter of late, say Bangkok's residents. The traffic's the same and there's plenty of tourists, but something's changed. In the suburbs and central thoroughfares, the city's dogs have been disappearing, making their owners fearful and the country's animal activists furious. Over the last couple of months, Thai police have stopped a series of huge animal shipments with lorries packed with dogs and a warning the following pictures are disturbing. Inside each pen, 10 to 15 dogs, the majority in a terrible condition, suffering from fleas and broken limbs. They weren't treated kindly by the Thai authorities, but before their intervention, these dogs were destined for the dinner table in Vietnam and South China. Last month, the Thai Navy stopped this delivery, time for Chinese New Year, but the market in dog meat is booming. Rising incomes make it an affordable delicacy. And here in Thailand, enterprising businessmen are on to it. It's not a household uh, business anymore. It became an industry. You know? Everybody wants to get in, uh, take a part in it because it's good money. Those thousands of dogs rescued by the authorities have been moved to a livestock pen near the border. And it's received plenty of human visitors too, ties desperate to find their missing pets. Grati, are you there, says this man. He's a Labrador. I lost him five days ago. Labrador. The animals will have to stay in the cow shed unless their owners can offer up the proper documents. This woman was about to realize she didn't have them. Just let me have him back, she cried. If he's not my dog, why would I have come here to get him? The trauma has traveled widely. Bangkok's dog-friendly middle class are now terrified of losing their pets. We caught up with a few animal lovers at the city's doggy do pool. I don't uh, leave my dog Hutchie outside at all when I go out. He actually stays inside because I'm afraid that he's going to get stolen. Put, put on because we don't let her out at all. So she's You don't let her safe. out of your house at all? Yeah, so she stays within the uh, compound of the house. On occasion, however, the dogs do come out. <laughs> Thailand's pet owners have begun to fight back, holding a rally and calling on the government to stamp out the dog trade this video part of their campaign. Well, a small number of dogs that were rescued on the border have been brought down to Bangkok and apparently being held in the back of this old furniture showroom. So let's go and take a look. It's just one dog per cage here with an animal charity busy trying to find them a permanent home. <laughs> 